Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. This is Marilyn Gale. Listen guys, I know you see the shrimp there, but I am going to make that. It is a New Orleans shrimp roll. And uh, there are some uh, Cajun fries we're going to make with, and this is with roasted garlic crema. So that sounds good. Let me just go over the ingredients with you. Here we have our shrimp. Um, and we had, this is servings for two. And I already cut the potatoes up. You know, I, I put them in cold water. So they're already cut up. I had a tomato and I sliced those. And um, we have sour cream. I'm going to make the crema with that. Uh, we have the, um, what is this? This is the remoulade. I'm going to make the crema. And we also have some mayonnaise. On these little packages. Everything is portioned because this is home chef. Then we have um, the salad blend. What I did is I rinsed off my greens. This is going to be in a sandwich in the uh, shrimp roll. I rinsed them off and patted them dry and here's my shrimp. And you can use the big shrimp, the colossal shrimp. Oh, that would make a great shrimp roll. Um, we have the cloves of garlic and we're going to roast that with the potatoes because we're not going to fry the potatoes. I'm going to um, put those in the oven and I hate to light the oven because it's 103 outside. <sighs> but I got the air on so anyways. And then I have the the buns, grilled buns, and one more thing, here it is over here, this is going to go on the fries, and this is the Cajun seasoning, can you see that, so let me get everything together, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pinch of salt on these potatoes. I'm going to put a tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm going to put, that's the fan guys, I have to, uh, I'm heating the oven to 450 for the fries and the, and the um, garlic. Because we're going to smush those uh, garlic cloves, you'll see, it. it's going to be good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just take it and incorporate the seasoning and the olive oil on all the potatoes. We're going to spread them out so we have a single roll. And we're going to put them in that oven when it gets to 450. Uh, let's see. I'm going to leave room for the garlic. Okay, guys, what I did, I, I took some more foil. 
and I put the garlic in the foil and I poured a teaspoon of olive oil on the garlic and then I'm going to make a little pouch. Take a little pouch and put them on the uh, foil with the potatoes. We're going to put this in the oven for 15 minutes. Okay guys, and like I said, excuse the fan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the shrimp in a medium high skillet. I'm going to put it undisturbed until maybe about two minutes. I'm going to flip it, take it off the heat, and then I'm going to put in the um, sauce. Engage your heat because medium pies for some stoves might be different. I'm going to do it for like two or three minutes on each side. I'm supposed to do it on the surface and I'm just serving it. And then we're going to put the Remolade, remolade, I think that's how you pronounce it. Remolade, R E M O U L A D E sauce. And I'm just going to coat it. I'm going to put a um, tin of foil on it. I keep wanting to stir it. I'm not, I'm not used to that. But anyway, uh, I'll be back when I flip it to let you see how it's supposed to look. Okay, now I'm flipping it. For the other side, in about a few minutes, I'm going to take the garlic pouch out of the oven where the french fries are. And that's going to be in the crema with the uh, mayonnaise. Then I'm going to uh, Flip over the french fries. Then we're going to start putting everything together. And when this gets done, two, three minutes on this side, then I'm going to take it off the heat. Okay, guys, now I transferred my shrimp into this bowl. And I'm going to put my sauce over it. Mind you, it's going to make two sandwiches. I'm just going to stir it up. And I'm going to put some foil over it. Tint it with some foil. Okay, if you don't have Home Chef, Google how to make the sauce. I'll put the um, the name of the, the sauce in the description area. If you request it, I will. Uh, that way you can make your own. Let me see how it tastes. That's good. That's good. Now I'm going to take the potatoes out of the oven. Okay, now what I'm going to do is make the crema, the garlic crema. Okay, I'm put the garlic in there, and I'm going to smush it. This is too big. That's okay. smush it okay so now guys I put the man eggs in it was three pouches now this is gonna make two sandwiches remember uh, and the cream cheese I smushed smashed 
mess, whatever you want to call it. The garlic until it was chunky. And I just stirred it around. Ooh, that's gonna be good. I see. All right. Now this is like for dipping. Um, you know, you take a bite of your sandwich and dip some in your crema or your potatoes. Do it the way you want to, or put and or put ketchup on your potatoes, whatever. Okay, guys, I toasted my um, my buns. Just like it. You toast them the way you want to. With that fan on, guys. My air conditioner on. So the heat was so, you know, it didn't get super hot. So now we're going to put our sandwich together. I got moved this mess. Um, we're going to take our shrimp. And put it on the bottom part of the bun. You want to use all the shrimp and have one sandwich and keep your bun for a little, you know, tomorrow or whatever. But I am not. I think this is going to be plenty for my one sandwich and I'll eat it tomorrow. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to take my tomatoes that I sliced as thin as you want. It said thin, but you can, you want thick slices, that's fine. Okay. And now we're going to put, it's called Power Four Blend but it's actually your green, so if you want to put whatever lettuce you want on it. That's fine. But what I did is I <clears throat> put it, excuse me, I put it in paper towel, soak up the moisture. Put a little or as much as you want. I think I think that's good. And like I said, the crema is going to be for the dipping. So what I did, see there, I put it on the side. And there you go. The potatoes. Now, it came with two potatoes. And one made a lot. One potato is good enough for me. I probably won't even eat all that. Let me put it this way. I shouldn't eat all that. But, but you know what? I'm, I'm pretty hungry, so... I just might. So there, guys. Let's see. Let me make that pretty so I can do a thumbnail. gonna do a thumbnail okay guys I did my thumbnail and there you go let me taste it
that's good. So guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, you can do that now. If you want to try Home Chef, I will put my email in the description. So just send your email so you can get $35 off your meal, your packet. And that makes a good difference in the price. But I like Home Chef because everything is, is portioned out. It comes with a, a menu card, directions, you know, how to cook everything. So if I want to make this dish on my own and make me a, a, the sauce, I can Google it how to make that sauce or put another sauce that I prefer. Guys, it's good. It's very good. So I'm going to see you later because I am hungry and I don't want anything to be cold. See you next time. I have two more meals and um, I hope you enjoy. Have a great night and be safe guys. Thank you.